As front-end developers, we often require mock data to quickly build prototypes. However, creating dummy data can be time-consuming and ineffective. In this video, I'll show you how to create mock APIs for UI prototyping in just 10 minutes using ChatGPT and JSON Server. Now you might ask, is this really a problem? So let me highlight a few points. First, generating sample data is no easy feat. Defining a schema for an entity and generating placeholder data can be a daunting task. For instance, coming up with a list of product names for an e-commerce website can be challenging. Should the product names be descriptive or catchy? How many characters should they have? Should they be in uppercase or lowercase? As developers, if we struggle to come up with a single variable name, I'm sure we will struggle to come up with an entire data set. Moreover, generating a data set is not a one-time task. As the application evolves, the data set will have to be updated and adjusted, which can be a tedious process. Second, creating an API endpoint as a front-end developer can be challenging and advanced features like sorting, filtering, and pagination require further effort. Proper server-side implementation to handle post, patch, and delete requests, which can be daunting for front-end developers who have limited experience in back-end development. Fortunately, there is a solution to both of these challenges, ChatGPT and JSON Server. ChatGPT is a powerful tool that can help generate sample data with ease. JSON Server is a powerful library that can be used to create a fake REST API with zero coding. Let's dive into the details and understand how to use them together. Step one, let's learn how to generate sample data using ChatGPT. Head over to chat.openai.com and log in if you haven't already. If you don't have an account, sign up with your email address. Now, one of the use cases for ChatGPT is the generation of sample data. Let me show you how you can generate a schema for an entity like a product on an e-commerce site. For the prompt, we enter, give me a list of five fields for a product entity on an e-commerce site selling electronic items. ChatGPT responds with product name, description, price, brand, and availability. Now, you can ask ChatGPT to add or remove a few fields by modifying the prompt accordingly. For my next prompt, I'm going to type add an ID field that will be unique to each product and change price field to a numeric type. We now have the updated fields for a product. Once you're happy with the fields, you can ask ChatGPT to generate a JSON. For the third and final prompt, I'm going to type, generate a sample JSON of five such products with realistic values. You can see that our sample data has been generated. Let's proceed to step two. For the second step, let's set up API endpoints with JSON Server. In an empty folder, start by creating a db.json file. Copy the generated JSON from ChatGPT and paste it. Next, within the project folder, Initialize a new package.json file with default options. npm init dash dash yes. Next, install the JSON server npm package as a dev dependency. Finally, add an npm script to run JSON server 
with the sample data present in db.json. Let's call it serve json. And the command is json server dash dash watch db.json, which is our file on port 4000. In the terminal, running npm run serve json will throw an error that data must be an object and instead found array. Go back to db.json, wrap the array with curly braces, and we're going to specify key as products whose value is the array from ChatGPT. We run npm run serve json, and we should have our server on localhost port 4000 with all the necessary APIs in place. Let me show you how you can work with the various endpoints. Open Thunder Client extension and create a new request. The request will be a GET request to HTTP localhost port 4000 slash products. Products is our key in the JSON file. Click send and Thunder Client will throw an error. Connection was refused by the server. Change localhost to double colon one within square brackets. Click send and we get back the list of five products. If you're wondering, this points to localhost. So slash products will give us the list of products. If we change the URL to slash products slash product ID, in this case, SKU 001, click send, we get back the individual product. Want to filter the data through the endpoint? Easy, just add a query parameter. This will retrieve the product with brand is equal to LG. And that is the fourth product. Need pagination? Underscore page is equal to one and underscore limit is equal to two. This will give you the first page of products with a page size set to two. So we have SKU 001 and SKU 002. Change page number to two and we have SKU 3 and SKU 4. If you want your API to support sorting, that's easy as well. Underscore sort is equal to price and order is equal to descending order. Send, and you can see we have SKU 004 with a cost of 2099 and then 1199 one zero double nine, and you get the idea. Apart from get requests, other HTTP verbs are also supported. Change request type to post, and the URL is slash products. For body, we can copy paste an object and change the ID. This is going to be SKU 006. Send the request. And you can see we receive 201 created as the response status. Fetch the list of products, scroll down, and you can see after SKU 005, we have our newly added SKU 006. Change the request type to delete and the URL slash products followed by the new product ID. Send the request. And this is successful as well. Fetch the list of products once more. And we are back to five products. As you can see, with ChatGPT, generating a data set becomes a breeze. And with JSON Server, creating a fake RESTful API requires zero coding. Together, they offer a simple yet effective solution for rapid mock API creation.
Front-end developers can focus on building prototypes quickly and efficiently without worrying about data generation and API implementation. If you're building portfolio projects, this is an excellent way to quickly set up a backend for your application. You might also want to share this approach with your colleagues at work to accelerate front-end development without having to wait for the backend team to provide the API. As long as the contract has been agreed upon, you are good to go. ChatGPT with JSON Server. A little bit of AI to improve your workflow. Thank you for watching, and please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content on AI and web development. I'll see you in the next one.